While the average citizen may be unaware of the program known as the Certificate of Need, it has a large impact on their lives. CON programs prohibit healthcare providers from entering new markets without first gaining the approval of state regulators, with the goal of reducing and controlling healthcare costs. With surrounding states opting to discard their CON programs, Kentucky could be next. What CON does is it prevents a duplication of services. So, you know, like I said, it's an application process through the state where you just have to justify uh, that there is a need for the services that you're wanting to provide in the area you're wanting to provide them. Um, it prevents the duplication of services and uh, essentially it ensures a level playing field. Um, so, you know, if somebody wanted to come in and they wanted to uh, build a new hospital, they would have to apply through the state and just say that, you know, the community's needs are not being met uh, with the current care and uh, then they would be approved. While many surrounding states opted to discard CON programs hoping to provide better health care to its residents, Kentucky currently has more hospitals and physicians per capita than neighboring states without CON programs. CON for rural health care is a must because without it these hospitals will not be able to survive. And it's been shown uh, in comparable states that surround Kentucky, even if we were to just uh, go off their statistics, we'll lose 10 or 11 hospitals, 3,200 jobs, 214 million in wages. And on top of that, the cost of health care goes up, the access to health care goes way down, and it hurts the most vulnerable and, you know, uh, vulnerable population. So it's a, it's a lose, 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 <laughs> no matter what for us. Appalachian Wireless is offering you up to $850 off select devices until the new year and no activation fee. $850 off the latest and greatest. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Happy New Year. With the vast majority of patients in rural areas relying on government-funded health care programs, rural hospitals rely on high reimbursement services to keep their doors open. Essentially, uh, without certificate of need, the situation would be, uh, it would be fair game, it would be a free-for-all. And um, there would be, you know, non-hospital providers, out-of-state providers that could come into any community in any part of Kentucky and, uh, you know, open up uh, new hospitals or ambulatory surgery centers or even if there's no need. The common example I give are surgical services. Surgical services are typically high reimbursement services that we count on in our hospitals to supplement lower reimbursement services so we can continue to provide a full range of services to the communities that need it. In addition to potentially lowering access and increasing costs to health care in rural areas, removing the CON program could also have a severe impact on the area's economy. Uh, the future uh, of Eastern Kentucky without the CON would be that the cost would go up tremendously for, for healthcare, inpatient, outpatient, no matter what, it's gonna rise. And then you're also gonna have extreme job loss in an area that's already struggling for you know uh, rural healthcare shortages and the coal industry has declined. So uh, our population in general is declining due to socioeconomic factors. And this would just devastate one of the largest employers of, of the, the mountains. And an analogy I would use is when you get rid of the hospitals, it's, it's, it's the same as when we started closing coal fire plants for electricity. And now our rates are up tremendously. We have some of the highest rates in the state. And that's kind of what it's going to be like without the CON. The access to care is going to be super difficult for, for our grandparents and the most vulnerable uh, people. So if we want our hospitals to be able to survive here in the mountains, so you and your family, your grandparents can drive 20, 30 minutes away and get the health that they need from professionals, then we need the CON. If not, the business model kind of goes out the window and it's just another thing that Eastern Kentucky is going to lose that is, is essential for us. Those wishing to voice their concerns should contact their legislator. To find your legislator, go to ky.gov. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.